I'm Taylor Smith. Uh, I have a studio in Indianapolis, Indiana, and um, this is my work. I suppose I came interested in art when, uh, when I was very little. My mother was an artist. She still paints a little bit, but um, I, I think just having an artist in the family was kind of inspirational. When I was younger, I thought I would get into writing and, and uh, writing books and novels, but uh, visual arts just kind of appealed to me more. Right after I graduated from uh, university, I moved to Europe and I uh, went to art school in Berlin. So I lived and worked there for about eight years. Did a lot of snow skiing at the time, which was really fun. And then when I came back in the 90s, I was introduced to Park City and that was my first time here. And I lived here part-time about 13 to 10 years ago. This one specific series, I take vintage computer floppy disks, which I have uh, collected over the years. I have thousands of them and I will create a uh, panel that uh, I um, epoxy the discs to and it becomes a painting surface. And it's very interesting because all of the original software programs and data is still on the discs. So it kind of becomes this multi-dimensional piece of art. It's almost sculptural in a way. The vintage information and data that's on these discs just kind of becomes part of the art. Technology and visual art combined. I actually had a box of maybe 20 of my own from the 90s, and I came across them in, uh, in a box that I had, and I, I thought, oh, these are too cool to throw out. But I knew they weren't recyclable, and that's another good thing, keep these out of the waste stream because they, they can't be recycled. But um, I started laying them out on a the table. They're very colorful and almost like a puzzle. You could move the discs around and change the look of what your composition is. And then I thought, okay, I'm gonna make paintings out of these because they're flat and they're perfect. And um, I quickly realized that I needed thousands more discs. So I source them now from computer recycling companies and, and individuals who know about my work, they send discs to me to be used in art sometimes too. I began more as an abstract artist, completely abstract. And over the last 15 years, I would say I've become more and more figurative. But I do have some series where I paint on paper and canvas and wood panel. Uh, without the floppy disks. I kind of mix a lot of uh, the pop art that I grew up with, that I'm influenced by, some of the fashion logos that you see everywhere now, kind of nostalgia blended with today's culture. Some of the iconic images that I choose for the work are, are based on what I was exposed to when I was growing up. My parents were very astute art collectors in the 60s and 70s, and I recall seeing uh, them go to many shows of the the 60s pop artists, that's kind of a big influence. And I choose some of the images because of what I'm familiar with and also some of them that I'm inspired by Park City itself and the surrounding mountains and snow. For instance, this, this uh, series of love paintings, I've kind of made them a little more specific to Park City because I have a love of snow and skiing and I create a lot of uh, pieces with the love and then there's different interpretations that people have of love. Some people have anxiety, insecurity, and some of these comic book type of uh, phrases in them reflect that. And then some people simply have a love of skiing or snowboarding, and I've tried to incorporate that too. It's a little humorous and um, specific to the area, I think. I met Colby through another artist who shows here at one of Colby's galleries, and uh, he introduced them to my work. Colby and Kelly sent me an email, and said that they really thought the floppy disk paintings were interesting and would do well here. I sent, I think, six paintings out uh, just after Christmas a year ago and almost immediately all of them were sold and I just have honestly been painting over time to keep up. They do really well with these paintings here. I would say my, my goal is to just keep coming up with new ideas and creating pieces of art that people enjoy hanging in their homes. Well, I hope uh, you will come down to Pando Gallery and check out my work. It's here all year long, and um, I'll try and be here as often as I can.